We're now working on problem number seven from your practice exam. The instructions are to convert all of the months into categorical variables. So to insert um, the number one into the cell, if the month in column A matches the month in row three, put a zero in the cell if it does not match. Then we're supposed to develop a multiple regression model using the data analysis tool that incorporates the seasonality. And then we're supposed to use the model to forecast the temperature for all dates plus nine months into the future. So to start by converting the months into categorical variables, we're going to use an if statement in cell B4. We're going to ask if the element in column A matches the element in row three. If in fact it does match, insert a one. If it doesn't match, insert a zero. So to do that, I'm going to click the formulas tab, logical, and then if. So for my function arguments for my logical test, I'm going to ask if the element in column A, so I'm going to click cell A4, but I'm only going to use a absolute cell reference for the column. So I'm going to ask if $A4 is equal to B3, but in the second case, I'm going to fix only the row three. So I'm going to hit my F4 key on my keyboard until the second cell reference says B$3. So what I'm doing is I'm asking if the element in the current row in column A matches the element in the current column in row three. If in fact they do match, I want you to insert the number one into the cell. If it doesn't match, I want you to insert the number zero. And notice I did not put the ones and the zeros in quotations because I want them as numbers, not as text. So notice it does say that they don't match and it'll insert a zero. So I click OK. And now because of the way I've structured the formula, I should be able to use the fill handle to fill it out to column L and then double click that fill handle to fill it all the way down. If I've done it correctly, I should have ones in the diagonal starting in February. So I'll use the fill handle to copy that formula out to December and then double click the fill handle and notice I have my ones going down that diagonal. Now that we have our categorical variables, now we need to develop the multiple regression model. So to do that, I'm going to click data and I should see data analysis in my analyze group. If I don't see data analysis in my analyze group, I click file and then options add-ins on the left hand side down where it says manage excel add-ins just click go and once again make sure that analysis tool pack is selected once you click the box and click ok it should appear in that analyze group so i'm going to click data analysis and i'm going to select regression you can scroll select regression and click OK. So for my regression, since I did a regression before, it's populated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my input Y range to replace it. And my Y range is going to be column N, the actual temperature. So I'm going to start with cell N3. I'm going to include the labels. and keep scrolling until I select all of the actual data in column N. Now I can just hit my tab key or delete whatever is in the input X range. And my X range is going to start from column B. I cannot include non-numeric data into a regression. That's why I filled in the zeros and ones. So in my input X range, I'm going to start off with cell B3, scroll out to 
column M, I am going to include the year as well as all of my categorical variables. And I will scroll down. This is extremely important. Only scroll down to row 144 where you scroll down in your Y. If the ranges don't match for your X and Y, the regression will fail. So notice in both of them I go from row 3 to row 144. I have to make sure that my labels are checked. And once again, so you can be able to see the output as I'm working with the formulas, I'm going to click for the output range. I'm going to click a cell that we can very easily see. I'm going to click cell Q12, Q13. And I don't need any of the other things. I don't need the residuals or the residual plots. So I click OK. And here are my regression statistics. Now down here, as I said, these are the important things. We can see that the R squared value is 0.96. So it's a good regression. And here are all of our coefficients. So we have an intercept of 453.27. We have a coefficient for every month except January, because January is going to be our base case. And then we also have a coefficient for the year. All right, now we've done the multiple regression model. Now the last thing that we need to do is we need to forecast the temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a formula here in cell O4, which will multiply each categorical variable by its corresponding coefficient. So I'll multiply the February categorical variable by the February coefficient, March categorical variable by the March coefficient. Notice we have many lines of categorical variables but only one coefficient for each month, we're going to have to use those absolute cell references. So to forecast the temperature, I'm going to tell Excel, start off with the equal sign, to start off with the intercept, but there's only one intercept, so I'll hit my F4 key on my keyboard to turn that into an absolute cell reference. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add each categorical variable multiplied by its corresponding coefficient. So I will take February's categorical variable, multiply that by February's coefficient, and I need that absolute cell reference for February. Then I will add March's categorical variable multiplied by March's coefficient, F4 for the coefficient, not for the categorical variable. Then I will add April's categorical variable multiplied by April's coefficient, F4 to lock down the coefficient, add May's categorical variable multiplied by the May coefficient, F4 for the May coefficient, add June's categorical variable multiplied by the June coefficient, F4 for the June coefficient, add July's categorical variable multiplied by July's coefficient, F4 again for the coefficient, add August categorical variable multiplied by August coefficient, F4 for the coefficient, not for the categorical variable. Add September's categorical variable multiplied by September's coefficient, F4 for September's coefficient. Add October's categorical variable multiplied by, scroll down a little bit, October's coefficient, F4 for October's coefficient. Add November's categorical variable multiplied by November's coefficient, F4 for November's coefficient. Add December's categorical variable multiplied by, scroll down a little bit, 
December's coefficient, F4 for December's coefficient, and then finally add the year, multiply by the coefficient for the year, and then F4 for the coefficient for the year. That is a very complicated formula, but it is the one that we need to forecast our temperature. So we hit enter. We have a forecast temperature for January of 35.5. And now we can double click the fill handle and forecast the temperature for all of the dates. And notice it goes nine months into the future because I added those dates for nine months into the future. So we are now all done with problem seven.